Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Meta Bros. I am Moldy Potion. This is my brother, Metacrax. Hey, guys. And today we've got uh, kind of a special episode. You may have noticed the Playmat Treasures yes. have arrived. Yes. Uh, spring is just around the corner, being in the month of March. And at the end of March, wilderness will be dropping. So to celebrate, my bro Moldy here put a lot of hard work in and created this wilderness chibi-inspired playground playmat for everyone in in the event that you'd like one, uh, contact us. How would they go about doing that? Instagram? Yeah, Instagram. You can even send me a message on if you're one of the patrons on Patreon, whatever. I've got a list going and there's already a, a one wave of pre-orders that went out and are arriving. And then I'm putting together a second wave here that I'm going to fire through. Yeah. So, and if you're yeah. one of our Patreons, we, of course, give you guys a discount. It'll be a little more expensive if you're not a Patreon, but mm -hmm. everyone is welcome to order one. Although the top ultra tier auto wins this playmat and if it uh hasn't already arrived it's in the mail and we'll be with you yep. any day yep oh and if you signed up you know near the end of february let me know and uh get me your address so that we can make sure that you get your awards as well yeah we think we have everyone's names but if we ever miss just tell us and we'll set up something special just yep. for you uh but because we got a lot more patrons than we expected guys yeah. this is like an awesome overwhelming feeling it's the best problem to have and as a result we've actually decided that for those tiers that we do raffles for which we're going to do right now we're going to do double the prizes so at least two People in the full hollow tier will win a postcard version of this. Two people in the obnoxious nine tier will win this playmat. Mm -hmm. And then for all of you ultra auto winning, like we said, you already got your playmat and we have created up in this corner, if you can see, I know it's kind of small, but uh, we've built a little special postcard just for you, a squonk postcard that maybe you can send to a sad friend mm -hmm. and make them feel better. Let them know they're not alone, that you're thinking of them yeah. in the puddle of tears we all share that is called life. <laughs> and with that, let's get into the raffles. Oh, I just turned off that. And there we go. So this looks like this is the top tier. It is. So I'm going to go back down to the full hollow tier before we spin the wheel i just wanted to say if you happen to be shopping at channel fireball and you feel like supporting the channel a great way to do that is to use the code metabros with a z at checkout it won't cost you anything extra but it is just a wonderful way to help us out and of course our patrons you're already doing that you can join our patron too if you'd like to be a part of these giveaways at patreon.com backslash metabros with a z yeah, absolutely. We'd love it. And we love and appreciate all the support we get from you guys. And this is it. You know, this is the raffle that we keep on talking about the merch giveaway, art giveaway. Um, Here it is. It's always fun to do. And it's always awesome to see new names getting added to the wheels. So with that, we have the full hollow wheel tier here again. If for some reason your name hasn't appeared, you let us know and we'll do something special just for you to make sure, you know, mm -hmm. everything is balanced in the uh, the multiverse. Indeed. Uh and this will be winning the postcard version of this playmat. Mm -hmm. All right. I think I just got to click this and here we go. Winner number one. The winner is... <sighs> Looks like it's Cody. Cody M. Cody M. Nice. Yes. Congratulations, Cody. We will be getting the postcard version of this art out to you immediately if we don't have your address we have this address i'm pretty right? sure we have we your address it, yeah. if not i'll contact you right on cody yeah thank you so for all the support bro and to everyone in the full hollow tier thank you uh in fact let's we're go to winner number two another giveaway now yeah. for the full hollow tier winner number two of february's chibi inspired playground postcard Matthew, Matthew C. C. I yeah. keep waiting for the wheel to do like one last, you know, like <laughs> fucked up move at the end, but it doesn't uh, like, seem to uh, do that. Like, uh, uh, what was that? Um, Price is Right. The tick, 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 tick. Oh, I was thinking of the wheel. Oh, like yeah. I was, it was always bending, like, and just like, yeah. always missing the big money. Seriously. Uh, but yeah, Plinko was great. Mm -hmm. I also liked the uh, the yodeler. The, that was a terrible yodel. I don't oh, even yeah. know what that was. Yeah. <laughs> The mountain climber or yes, whatever it was. I thought that was yeah. fun. And you kept getting more money and more money. And all you had to do was say stop to take your money away. But then you'd see this guy fall off the cliff and it mm -hmm. would all be away. That's not happening here. You're winning these prizes, folks. So moving on to the obnoxious nine tier. Now, this will be the chance to win the official 
unofficial, not official, unofficial. We know it's unofficial. Inspired mm-hmm. by NetaZoo, mm-hmm. cryptid playground the official playmat. unofficial play <laughs> yeah, something like that <laughs> um i know mike said please just let people know it's unofficial yeah unofficial yeah. thank yep. you mike love you bro love metazoo so here we go obnoxious nine tier who will be the winner winner number one <laughs> And the winner is oh, looks like it's Jocelyn. Jocelyn nice. K, <laughs> right on. Jocelyn, we have your address. Yes, we, we will do. ship this out to you immediately. Yes, we will. Congratulations! Thank you for the support. And now on to winner number two. That was probably really loud for the mic. Sorry. Probably. Wait. It's cool. It builds pressure. Zach, H. Zach, nice, right on. Thank Zach, you, Zach. We'll get that off to you. I know that your name is spelled wrong there. Your name is with a K. Just saying, we got that. That's we'll my, fix that. My fault. Yep. We had, <laughs> we had both friends growing up, the CKs and the CHs. So mm-hmm. yeah, the one I was close to was CH. But hey, Zach. There it is. Thank yeah. you for the support. We will get that out to you right away. Pretty sure I have your address, but if I don't, you'll be hearing from me, sir. No, I. I don't. I, I don't know if this will happen in the future. It almost was Jocelyn again. You can't win two yeah. guys, just no. so you know. No, We're no. trying to spread no. out the prizes because we have so many awesome patrons and we just want everyone to get a little something or as close to it as possible. And now, the four, final event. The final event. Now, this is the ultra auto win tier. You guys get the playmat. You get the, the squonk postcard. But we wanted to do something extra special, as we have mentioned in previous months. So we are now raffling off a surprise each month and this month the surprise is since we love you so much we thought we would raffle one of the chibi valentine's day promo packs to go with your chibi yeah seriously you guys deserve a raffle i know you're auto winning you're already getting your stuff but you just deserve it's fun right it's fun to have a raffle and (laughs) Now, we're only giving away one of these since yeah. you've all auto won everything already, but yeah. we still want to give something just to show our appreciation. So with that, we're Let's going go. to now spin the obnoxious nine tier. Uh, I mean, the uh, I didn't mean to say that. I'm going to say the ultra win. Sorry, the, yeah. brain. You guys know me by now. And the winner is Gavin B. Right? Yep. Yes. I was waiting for it. I was like, is that going to stop moving? Yeah. Gavin, congratulations, man. Your chibi will be sent off to you. Right on. There it is, folks. The winners of our Patreon giveaway for February. We will be back at the beginning of April with March's prizes, which we are still building, choosing, deciding. We don't want to give any spoilers now. It's just as fun for us to uh, figure out what we're going to do for you guys each month. Yeah. So... This will be in the mail. Congratulations, to, Gavin. Gavin. And to everyone else, really, guys, thank you so much. It's totally humbling, totally inspiring. You guys have made gaming even more fun. Yeah. I'm just going to keep saying that because yep. didn't know it was possible. And it's and true. It is. And speaking of gaming, we have our dark decks from yesterday. It's time to do round two. We hit the sideboard. We're yep. in the official round two. I still have the 40-page spellbook because remember, in MetaZoo, when you go to your sideboard, you cannot add or take away mm-hmm. cards. You have to have the same amount of pages in your spellbook that you started with. You can swap them out. It just needs to remain. If it was a 40, it's got to stay a 40. Mm-hmm. So that's what we're doing. And the 15-page spellbook off to the side, you can also see in the description below. Uh, once again, shout out to Caleb McFrog and to everyone else who requested that we start listing all of our spell books. We will be doing that. Yep. And uh, if you want to see what we played yesterday and how we revised it in comparison to today, everything is in the description below. Indeed. You're playing Bloodsuckers, right? I'm, yeah, though I have, um, I've sideboarded out the rest of the Beasts of Bladenboro just because I started to think, really, they didn't do much? Like, it's nice to have Beasties in the arena, but they haven't really provided me with any key plays. And really, I just kind of wanted more of the vampire mercy browns like why would i want a 
beastie bloodsucker who costs two who doesn't really do anything when I could have a beastie bloodsucker who costs three and does a lot is invisible is automatically dealing 40 damage up to 60 damage has infectious there's some nasty things going on with those vampire mercy browns and I kind of just wanted to see more of them yeah I totally get that because every time a beast of bladen burrow is that the name mm -hmm. anytime that hit the arena I didn't really care in fact I left it uh -huh. alive for multiple turns while I decided what I wanted to do about it but the Mercy Vampire is just on that line yeah. where there are these little tech tricks and I would rather just have her gone than think about what it could add up to when you've got a number of them and then suddenly, you know, yep. they win the game, which uh, they didn't win the game for you yesterday. No, but well, they've done work for me. Oh, no, like, they have. And yeah. I have to remove them. Like yeah. 60 damage is for real, especially when it's uh, invisible. Yeah. And if I throw Bloodlust on it, then it's 120 damage invisible. You know, it's nasty. It's a nasty girl. It is. And uh, for me, I didn't change much. I did take out those unlucky potions, guys. And really, I didn't even... I put a little, like, technical description uh, in the deck list below. I shouldn't have put those unlucky potions in. I didn't really think about how they would uh, work with my pyrokinetic blasts mm -hmm. because it's controlling my opponent's die roll or my opponent's flip and right. i'm really the one doing the majority of the flipping when i play that card when it comes to you know if it's burn if it's confused or how many burn right the only thing it would be really good for is if i'm successful with confusing his beastie when he then flips i could control that but for me to get through a flip, to use the unlucky potion to confirm a flip. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It was just a yep. little too far out there. So yep. I didn't include that in my deck list because I wouldn't recommend it. And uh, instead, although they are my sideboard, well, I'm not actually going to tell you what I put in instead. That's all right with me. But I've swapped some pages. I feel more confident. It's, uh, it's similar, but hopefully a little stronger. And we will, uh, with the booster gods on our side. Yeah, they're not on your side. They're on, they're on my side. It's funny because it, they require my blood, apparently, at one point. They do. And, all right. Well, interesting. I mean, they might. I don't know. Uh, you, uh, you've been alluding to that for first, first a long time. First rule of the booster gods is you don't talk about the <laughs> Okay. Is that so? Gods. <laughs> I talk about them a lot, whether yeah, they're real true. or not. It's true. Uh, always on my mind. Okay. You so, shuffled? Yep. Elbow in. Elbow. Thank you. Yep. I, I had all my pages laid out when I wrote down my deck list, so everything was in play sets. I am shuffled. You want to flip to see who goes first? Yes. Uh, well, isn't oh, this no. round two? I'm going first. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Thank you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Damn, I love this play map, bro. It's I don't even sweet. want to cover it. Like, I don't want to set... I don't want to. I don't want to cover Gumbaru down here. He's my bro. He's yeah. my buddy. And Sam with his EMF device. I don't know. I guess I'll just. All right, Gumby. I'll be thinking about you. I'll Gumbaru gets enough you attention. Up. Yeah, I guess so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, yeah, I'll play and bookmarking, placing a. Hmm, well, let's go with a uh, spirit aura in the arena turn. Okay. Bookmarking a page. I'll bring a dark aura into the arena. Turn. All right. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. Uh, bookmarking, placing a dark aura of my own into the arena, and turn. Okay. Bookmarking, placing another dark aura in the arena. Turn. All right. Bookmarking, placing another. Oh, I have decided. This is what I'm going to do in terms of like organization. I think mm -hmm. I figured it out yesterday. Okay. Like to, to like, you know, calm down my OCD mm -hmm. and keep the arena a little cleaner so I don't eventually get called out for infractions by doing little things like this that is not allowed in MetaZoo. Mm -hmm. I thought about it a lot. I think <laughs> as long as I put one aura down there, like one aura type and the other aura here, and I fatigue them into the center, we'll see. It should keep me safe because I got to start practicing if we go to Texas. And I don't know if I'm going yet. Uh, shout out to Poopin, bro. You're so right. We have to qualify, pre-qualify, if we want to go to that tournament. Totally forgot about that. So I'm looking for either an online tournament or something maybe in Washington, which certainly isn't close. It's hours away, but it's the closest like comic book, you know, gaming, LGS style city yeah. that we have. Yeah. Uh, so we'll see. Um, yeah, we'll see. And they also haven't said anything since that announcement, which was a while ago. So I'm wondering if they're going to amend that 
you know, like there have been no reminders or any like, make sure that you play, you know, if you want to register for Collecticon. So I'm kind of hoping that they'll just be like, ah, whatever, just be registered or something. If that's the case, I will go. If I cannot find a game to qualify, I don't think I'm going just for the trip. You know what I mean? I really want to play in the tournament. That would be the whole point. Uh, well, not the whole point. It would be great to see everybody, but it would. I just want to have the full experience or I may sit at home in grandma's basement again past turn okay bookmark and a page um i'll bring a nighttime tara in the arena and past turn all right bookmarking placing hmm nothing turn okay interesting bookmark and a page gonna generate one in contract bookmark mm-hmm I'll bring a dark aura in the arena and pass turn. Man, not a lot going on here. It's like we're building up for something. Yeah, well, you know, I like I said, I took the beasts out. So my my this is more of a mid range spell book at this point. Okay. Uh, bookmark turn. Okay. Bookmark and I'm gonna generate three and contract vampire mercy brown all right beastie bloodsucker four per spell book costs three dark aura has 30 life points has that bloodsucker trait is invisible also has infectious gets a 20 damage bonus if the nighttime terror is active gets a 20 damage bonus if i'm wearing vampire fangs or if i'm wearing jewelry nameless tokens also gain infect and the attack deals 20 base damage but with the nighttime terror we'll be hitting for how much she'll be hitting with the nighttime and my necklace she'll be hitting for 60. That's amazing. It is. And you could also have a daytime terror and pump that up even more if you really wanted. The daytime would actually take away from her power. Daytime is a minus 20 damage. Oh, really? Yeah, because she's a vampire. I guess oh, that's, that's... I like that. That's the flavor. Uh, pass turn. All right. Bookmarking. Um, let's see. Let's go... Well, mm -hmm. I will generate one to pyrokinetic blast mercy brown so okay. we will flip first i'll just read this to you you can have eight per spell book the contraction cost is one spirit deal 25 damage to target beastie then flip if heads the chosen beastie is inflicted with burn if tails the chosen beastie is inflicted with confused we absolutely want the chosen beastie to be confused so we're hoping for a tails and we got, we got it. Tails. So now we don't need to worry about Mercy Brown because she would deal that damage to herself if she failed the flip when she attacked. And mm -hmm. we're going to hope that that happens with that. Well, I'll generate one and cast a bookmark, which will allow me to bookmark two more pages. I will generate one and contract a Napa Rebob. Okay. Turn. Gonna bookmark a page. Ah, I'm fiddling. I will awaken my side of the arena here. No, it should be like this. That's what it should be like. And then I unfatigue there and I fatigue there. Gonna generate three and contract Wendigo. Oh, yeah. Okay. Mercy Brown's awake too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll target Napa Rebobs with Wendigo's fear trait. Hoping for a heads. We got a heads. Napa goes back to your <laughs> chapter. <laughs> um, which means that I don't get to awaken Wendigo and potentially attack. But hey, that's all right with me. I will see what happens. I will attack with Vampire Mercy Brown. And now, now you flip. And if you get a heads, she successfully attacks. But if you mm -hmm. get a tail, she hits herself and dies. That's true. We got a heads. So, she's going to hit you for 60. Yeah, you got me. Now, fortunately, the Confuse stays on her. So, every single time she attacks, we will have that chance for her to kill herself. But if it doesn't happen, then she just keeps attacking. Yeah, Confused is a bitch. Man, and she's only got five life points right now, too. I will pass turn. Maybe the burn would have been better. Right? I don't know. Bookmarking. And let's see. Um, hmm... Awakening. Well, I guess bookmark, uh, excuse me, uh, generate one to bookmark, allowing me to draw two more cards. Okay. Place bookmark over there. 
I will drop a dark aura in the arena. And I will generate one to Morpheus Wendigo. All right. So Morpheus, you can have four per spell book. Casting cost one spirit. Target beastie is inflicted with sleep. The flip for sleep is automatically considered beheads unless an effect would say otherwise. Pass turn. Okay. So Wendigo, we really don't need to worry about unless he does, which he has done in our previous games. Um, the first anniversary promo, which will allow him to deal 25 damage to a target creature. So the only way you can wake up something from sleep is if they are targeted by an attack, which I'm not going to do, and he can't target his own beastie, or if they are dealt direct damage, and in that case, if they are asleep, it would deal double damage and wake them up. Mm -hmm. True. And that's what I'm going to do. You are. So I'm on a first anniversary celebration on Wendigo, dealing him 50 damage and awakening him. Yeah, that's a play. I mean, I like it. It's a way out of sleep. It's smart. And he's still going to do damage. And uh, I'll attack first with Vampire Mercy Brown. Come on, Mercy Brown. Get out of here. Go home. Hit yourself. Stop hitting yourself. Hit Open yourself. for that heads. Heads again. I'm telling you, Mercy Browns are all weighted. Mercy Brown's going to hit you for 60 damage. And Wendigo will also hit you for 60 damage. Yeah, no responses to either of those. He does have to attack one at a time, but we speed things up. Because I'm not playing Smoky Spirit, so he knows it's all going to go through. And... Um, Pass turn. All right. Bookmarking. Awakening. Do you think, I'm asking a real question here, that me fatiguing to there and unfatiguing to there is legal? Technically, probably not. You're really? just supposed to turn the page, you know? Oh, man. All right. It ruins <laughs> my plans. Games within games here. I'm losing them all. Not really. We got a good chance. Um, all right. So, I mean, it's a little annoying because <sighs> he's now, he's not slipped. He's not slept anymore. He's awake. He's, he's running awake. around. He can do whatever he wants. It's true. You know what I didn't do? I didn't bring back out my rebob for some reason. I noticed that. I don't know. It's probably <laughs> sure. a good move. Yeah, it probably was, was a good move or would be a good move. Um, I need to deal him 35 damage and the nighttime tear is out. So Rebob will be dealing 35 damage. We're going to generate one and we're going to contract the Napa Rebob. Napa Rebob is back. We will cast lightning in the bottle, a zero cost potion that awakens Napa Rebob, gives our beastie first strike, and I will attack Wendigo for that 35 damage. All right. We got him. Yep. We got rid of Wendy. That's good. Mercy Brown's still out. I don't really want to allot any more pages to her at the moment. Um, I'll place another Dark Aura in the arena. I guess past turn. All right. Yeah. And just a reminder that Napa Rebobs does not have flight until the end of this turn. Because all traits were nullified by first anniversary celebration. Nullify all traits on all pages until the end of your next turn. Mm -hmm. Annoying. She better kill herself. <laughs> kill yourself. <clears throat> kill yourself. Kill yourself. I will Do you know where that comes from? Vampire Mercy Brown. Kill yourself. My head? I don't know. No. Uh, I'm going to attack Napa Rebobs. Everyone's. Um, okay. Come on, Tails. There you go. Grr, you got Tails. Get out of the arena. Vampire Mercy gets herself. Brown. Um, Bill Hicks. Oh, yeah. Of course. Of course. Uh, generate three. We'll bring out another Mercy Brown. Gonna lightning in a bottle. And attack that Rebobs. It's annoying. Hmm. Yeah, you got the rebob, and I will generate. We're going to cast Feign Death. So, Feign Death, you may contract this page at any time when a beastie you own is destroyed. This page costs X neutral aura, where X is the aura cost of the destroyed beastie. Place the destroyed beastie in tier chapter. So, he's going to come right back to our chapter now okay. that he's been destroyed by Vampire Mercy Brown. And that's turn. All right. Bookmarking. Awakening. Yeah, I guess that works. Fine. 
and we will generate one to recontract our Napa Rebob. Okay. And we will generate another one to Pyrokinetic Blast this Mercy Brown. So All 25 right. damage. I will flip to see if it is a burn or a confuse. Let's go for that tails. We got a heads. So now I will roll to see how many burns will be placed on Mercy Brown. Six, the full six. We so we don't six. need to worry about her for six turns. That's great with that. Uh-huh. What? Mercy Brown's a bloodsucker. When this one attacked you, Either way, she would have killed herself with her own damage yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, but yep. got to remember yeah, that. For sure. Moving damage. Okay. Um, hmm. Yeah, there's definitely another play here that I didn't think about. I don't know if I should do it or not. Yeah. Generate three. Contract the promo Mothman. First time I've ever played a Mothman. Nice. In MetaZoo. Beastie Mothman, one per spell, but contraction costs three dark. 90 life points, has flying and fear. So when Mothman enters the arena, I... You gotta be kidding me. Do I have to target? No, it's a May. Yeah. Oh my god. Gets an additional 25 bonus to the attack if the Nighttime Terror is in play, which it is. While this page is in the arena, any beastie that is contracted by an opposing caster is inflicted with Scared. Petrifies the attack, base damage 50, and Paralyzation. But in this case, 75 because of that Nighttime Terror. So with that, turn. Okay. Bookmark in a page. Awakening. Burn counters at 5. I'll bring a dark aura into the arena. <clears throat> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. See, I fear the death beam right now, and I'm thinking that I should have saved the feigned death for the Mothman, but I wouldn't have had the aura to bring him out and pay for the feigned death in the event that he's death beamed right now. So it was okay that I saved the rebob, but yeah, I don't want to see the Mothman go away after the first turn. I'm going to play I'm going to play this aggressively. I might end up regretting this, but I'm going to generate 3 and power up red Vampire Mercy Brown. Whoa, dude. Mhm. Mm and now I'm going to attack you for 160. Mm -hmm. She'll lose 20 life. R right, but does isn't she dead? No, she gained 100 life from Power oh, Bread. Oh, gosh, of course she did. Yeah, Sorry. So that's yes. why I'm playing no, it that it's way. No, totally smart. So you're attacking me directly? Yes. Yeah, you got me. So 160 damage. She'll recover all of her life. So now she's back to full life points. Oh, I, I see. That was smart. <clears throat> all right. Damn, I wish we confused her. Um, <sighs> that burns I'm going to lightning do... in a bottle her. Oh, boy. And I'm going to do that again. That makes sense. Hit you for another 160. Smart. Annoying. Okay. All right, past turn. Bookmarking. Awakening. All right, so we bookmarked. We awakened. And we've got a giant power-up red creature over there. We cannot let that last. Death Beam, the Mercy Brown. Okay. Now, he's doing 75, which is great. Um, we'll generate another one to contract a second rebob. I know, I'm not supposed to move these pages, guys. You can't move the pages. You gotta set them down and leave them. And I guess I should just start getting used to playing on your side of the arena if I need more room. So I'll attack you with the first rebob, which will be 70 damage, because rebob does double damage to casters. Okay. I don't even know if I read the rebob. I think people get it by now. Okay. Well, you we're know. In, we're in game three of, right. the, of these Good decks. Call. I think they if should If you understand. need to, you can rewatch yesterday's where we read all the pages. We did say we were going to start doing that. Like, first game, we read everything unless it hasn't been played, mm -hmm. you know, when we get to the second game. I'll also hit you for 75 with the Mothman. Okay, got it. And... Turn. Bookmark on a page. Man, this playmat looks awesome on the screen. 
<laughs> I love I love this right here. Like I love the root, the color of the root, like the brown and the green, almost like the sun. And then how it loops around here with the double play match, kind of have like a little yin yang, like shoo, shoo, mm -hmm. shoo. so cool, bro. I'm gonna generate three and death beam promo moth. Makes sense. And I'll generate one and first anniversary one of the rebobs. Okay, you got him. That's turn. Bookmarking, awakening, placing uh, <laughs> placing a spirit aura in the arena, and I'll attack you for seventy with the rebob. Okay. Turn. Bookmarking. Awakening. Going to death beam the rebob. Ah, oh, man. Okay. You just got to kind of deal with them. Yeah, I know. And I, I know you're going to death beam at least four of them. It's actually why I had the side deck I did. Remember yesterday when I set aside the promo Mothman? Mm hmm. And I was going to just try to get away with the six rebobs. All right. Yep. New Year's, new beginning. So dump into the cemetery. Into the cemetery. Mm hmm. Okay. I had a New Year's, new beginnings uh, in my hand, and I was thinking about playing it. But whatever. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Had I done that, I would just been throwing away more cards. So I'm kind of glad I didn't. Hey, all right. Past turn. Okay. Bookmarking. Placing a dark aura in the arena. Generating one dark aura to contract a Napa Rebob. And turn. Okay. Bookmark on a page. Gonna awaken. Hmm. Bring a dark aura in the arena. Mm -hmm. Gonna generate four. Contract Jersey Devil. Ah! Yeah. That's my blood curdling scream. Um, if I, I heard you do that, I would, probably, I would probably laugh. Yeah. I mean, like, if I heard you around the corner do that specifically, I'd be like, yeah, he's just fucking around. It's yeah. not it's not a blood curdling. It's not a blood curdling stream scream. Don't worry. We yeah. would know if it was blood curdling, but we'll let you bring him in anyway. Yeah. Well, I don't want to. We also have grandma, grandma upstairs. Yeah. I know. I don't want to upset grandma. All right. I'm going to target rebobs <laughs> with the fear. Hoping for a heads. We got a tails. We'll take it. No worries. Um, Kind of lightning in a bottle. Jersey Devil. Oh, man. And take out rebobs. That actually hurts because I, I'm making mistakes here, guys. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to give away my game, but turn. This could have been a stronger show for sure. Bookmarking, placing a spirit or in the arena. Oh, awakening first, then placing, generating three to death beam Jersey Devil. Okay. Got to kill Jersey right away. He's way too much of a threat. And with that turn, bookmarking a page. Awakening. Bring another blood ruby out and turn. Bookmarking, awakening, generating one to contract another rebob. And now I think I should have done this before. We're just going to try this. We're going to power up red the rebob. Okay. And we'll lightning the bottle the rebob. So we'll hit you for 270. All right. Yeah, you got it. And while you're there, we're lighting the rebob again to hit you for another 270. So over half of the life points you have gone in a single turn with a rebob, a power up red, and two lighting the bottles. Not bad. If we had two more lighting the bottles, it'd be the game. Mm -hmm. Turn. Think about that, guys. If you can just line up a rebob, a power up red, and I know four lighting the bottles kind of sounds like a lot, but it's happened before. And I knew that was going to happen, so I didn't really want to bring it out and lose them, but I had to. I, I, that's half the life points. Half my work is done right now if I can just keep up. Turn. Bookmarking. Awakening. Uh, turn. Okay. Bookmarking. Awakening. Turn. Bookmarking. Generating one. Contracting another rebob. Turn. Bookmarking. Um, gonna generate four and contract Adam as a dark beastie and I will 
bloodlust him. Oh yeah, as one should. Mm -hmm. um, 180 damage coming my way. 190 damage actually. 190 damage. Oh, mm -hmm. that's right. The nine time terror bonus with the mm -hmm. dark bonus with the bloodlust. Damn. And um, can't attack the rebobs because the rebobs has flight. Otherwise, I'd be forced to because of bloodlust. So I will attack you for 190 damage. Yummy. Um, Lighting the bottle for another 190 or no? Uh, I wish. I wish. Uh, but I will death beam rebobs. Okay. You got them. And that's turn. And that's all for your death beams. Bookmark. Mm -hmm. uh, awaken. Generate three death beam atom. Okay. Turn. Bookmarking a page and pass and turn. Bookmarking. Awakening. Ooh, a little frustrated right now. Didn't go the way I wanted, but it's okay. Turn. Bookmarking. Uh, Going to generate three and promo moth. Turn. Okay. Bookmarking. Uh, it's all awake already. Generating one to Morpheus from a moth. Okay. And then we will generate four to contract our own. <laughs> I don't know. That was like a loud whisper. Grandma. <laughs> I okay. thought we, yeah, we so you, you know, Jersey Devil. This is blood curdling as it gets right now. Are you gonna fear my moth? Uh, no, of course not. Okay, well he's scared. What? Do you, what? What? Oh, he's because scared. yes, of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. That's annoying. Damn, that's annoying. He's scared because promo moth inflicts scared on every single beast that enters the arena. We needed to kill the promo moth, not this. This is uh, annoying. What you got? Turn. All right. Damn. Bookmark on a page. Um, turn. Bookmarking. Awakening. Come on, Jersey. Come on, Jersey. We're going to attack you with Jersey Devil. And now we got to flip. If we get a heads, we succeed, and the attack goes through, and the scared indicator is removed permanently. If we get a tails, Jersey comes back to our hand, and we have to repeat this same process. Tails. Tails. This is lame. <laughs> Jersey's back. Generate four. Recontract Jersey. Rescare Jersey. You take 50 damage if you're not going to scream. <sighs> Turn. All right. Bookmark on a page. Also, you can hear grandma's cats run back and forth anytime we make a lot of noise. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, generating three, Mercy Brown. Um, we're going to bloodluster. Yep. That's... And lightning in a bottle her. No. How much? Uh, 120? 160. 160. Damn. Okay. All right, turn. Come on, Jersey Devil. By the way, last page in our spell book right here, guys. We got nothing else. We got to win the game from this arena state right here and the few pages we have in our hand. All right, Awakening. Awakening Jersey. Um, you know, your, your New Year's anniversary or your, um, I'm sorry, your New Year's New Beginnings, it took out like two of my death beams. Mm, nice. Mm. nice. Ouch. That hurt. That stings. So we will generate one and we will Morpheus Mercy Brown. Okay. And then we will attack you with Jersey Devil. Come on, heads. We got it. All right. Okay. That attack goes through. Jersey Devil will be dealing 75 damage and inflicts you with burn. So I guess that's me. I roll for your burn. Mm-hmm. Four. So okay. you are burned four. You want to grab one of those burn dice? We're good. I got it. There you go. Cool. Uh, we'll set it over here by your... So you can count down each turn. And I'll generate one and contract a Napa Rebob. Okay. He's scared. <sighs> he is scared. <laughs> so annoying. What an incredible card. Seriously. 
Changes the whole game state. Turn. All right. Bookmark on a page. Awakening, awakening, awakening. <clears throat> Man, both of these games, we've gotten down to the bottom of our spell books. Yep. And you're bookmarking to your bottom now. Contracting bookmark. All right. Um, bring a dark R in the arena. Mm-hmm. Pass turn. Count down that burn. Bookmark. Uh... Actually, I think we bookmarked our last. I don't know. It doesn't matter. This was either it was our last or this is our last. Putting a dark aura in the arena. Of course, awakening before we drop that dark aura, since that is the order of the game. These are awakened, and I will attack you with the rebob. And let's see if he's scared. He's heads. scared. He goes back to my hand. Isn't that heads? So he. Oh, I won. He's not scared. He's yeah, not yeah. scared. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you want heads. Didn't I just flip tails on Jersey, though? And he bounced back to your hand. But the second time I flipped heads? Second time. I thought I flipped tails and did my thing where I'm like, yes, I won. I oh, honestly... I think you got heads. I hope so. Well, I know I flipped A heads and A tails. Yeah, there you go. For Jersey. So at some point, the scared indicator definitely went away. All right. He is uh, dealing you 70 damage. Okay. Taking it. And then we will generate one, and we will bloodlust Jersey Devil. And because you got to attack her first, then you got to attack him, then you got to attack that, then you got to attack. Are you serious? That. I'm yep. not doing that. It's bloodlust. I'm not doing that at all. Oh my god! Listen to this, guys. This is why I'm not doing that. Equip it. I'm just going to hit you for 75 with Jersey. Okay. Equip this page to target Dark Beastie without a page under it. Equip Beasties. Equipped Beastie doubles any damage it would deal and must attack the closest opposing page to it before attacking casters. Pick if there is a tie between the distance. Equipped Beastie cannot have other pages under it. So that would have been completely foolish for me to do. It would have locked me out of the lead or at least the little arena control I had right now. Pass turn. I would have had to take out Mercy Brown first, then Mothman, then his Blood Rubies. That's four turns at least of attacking if everything goes in my favor. And uh, oh, I wouldn't have even been able to kill. Oh, no, I would have. I would have killed everything. But it would have been four turns before I could deal you damage. Play another Mercy Brown and pass turn. Okay. Uh, nothing to bookmark. So just awakening the arena and Paretic Blasting. Mercy Brown. Okay. So we will flip to see. It is a Tails, so she is confused. So we really don't need to worry about Mercy Brown. Um, and then I will attack you with the Rebob for 70. And the Jersey Devil after that for 75. Okay. Pass turn. Now, that's interesting. So Bloodlust, actually, especially when you play Crystals... I, I'm not going to play it like, you know what I'm saying? Because mm. I have to work at your arena state before I work at your life points. And at this point, obviously, I'm so close. It would have been detrimental had I played that to have to just spend so much time taking out things to get back to you. Yeah. Yeah. That You're not wrong there. I think in most scenarios, it's 100% worth it, though. Like in most scenarios, I'm happy to destroy whatever. And if I didn't lust. have everybody locked down, I'd be very happy to start attacking and removing, of course. Right. Well, let's see what happens. I'll attack you with Mercy Brown. Uh, yeah. Okay. We got Tails, so she's going to deal the damage to herself. All right. And, uh, and that's when game. you pass, that's game. I yeah. attack back with Jersey and the Rebob. Nice. Good game. Cool. So we are tied one for one right now, mm -hmm. which means we'll be hitting our proper side decks. I don't know if I'm going to keep the bloodlust in or not. I'm not sure. Like, what's better, guys? Having a bloodlust, which is a permanent double damage as long as the arena is empty and you can put it through to the caster, or having lightning in the bottles, which gives you the double damage without locking you into attacking certain targets. You know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. Yeah, but bloodlust is permanent, and lightning in a bottle is a one-time use. Man, that's true, too. I don't know. I know that I took out uh, several lightning in the bottles for this build today, because I wanted to put in the promo Mothman, um, the Jersey Devil, and I took out... Oh, and the Fame Deaths. That's what I cycled in. So as a result, I only have 
two lightning in the bottles. Oh no, three. I think I'm going to take uh, the bloodlust out and put the two lightning in the bottles back in. Because holding bloodlust in my hands at the end of the game seems bizarre. Mm -hmm. We'll see. Either way, uh, these have been good games. Yeah. Going to the bottom of the spell book. Very good games. I really like playing Dark. It uh, feels good. Yeah, Dark's really fun. It's yeah. one of my favorites. Well, uh, what else? Is that it? You're already hitting the side deck. Yeah, totally. While well, it's on my mind. Thanks for watching, guys. I think we have reached the end of our show. If you feel like supporting the channel and you happen to be shopping at Channel Fireball, a great way to do that is to use the code METABROS with a Z at checkout. It won't cost you anything extra, but it definitely helps us out. Yeah, big time. And if you want to support us more directly, you can go to patreon.com backslash metabros with a Z. Like you saw at the beginning of this episode, we do raffles and giveaways at the end of every month. Now we're up to two winners per tier, except of course the illustrious top tier who already is auto winning. So we just make one of them feel extra special. But yeah, we love you. We love the support. It means so much. It just makes us freed up and able to do more and more content for you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Metabros. Later, guys. Later, everybody.